a totally family owned and operated attraction aquarium as well as an animal rescue. We try to offer guests a true hands-on experience. So we try to get people, um, I guess, as close to nature as you can get in a controlled setting. We've got a lot of big game fish that you would find right out here in our local Gulf waters. Goliath grouper, tarpon, snook, redfish, that kind of thing. We have iguanas, uh, Chinese water dragon. We have alligators, an American crocodile, big tortoises. And we try to get as much interaction as you can safely do with all of those animals. We have these new enclosures we want to open today, uh, officially unveil them to the public. Really, this is our first fundraiser that we've done as a family and as a business for an outside organization, and I couldn't be more excited about it. I've been working with the Children's Cancer Center for a few years now, and I've gotten to meet these little kids that have just been dealt one of the hardest hands I've ever seen. And they're funny, and they're sweet, and they are passionate about the animals. And I knew no one better than this young lady I met named Sayla. I met her when she she was about three or four years old. She was undergoing treatment at the time, and I had a moment with her. I was doing an educational presentation. She was holding a bearded dragon, and um, yeah, I was telling her, oh, be careful. You don't want to touch near his head, and she looked up at me with her beautiful big eyes and said, he won't bite me. I'm brave, and I just that was just one of those moments for me where everything you do is worthwhile. I got to do a reptile show at her six-year-old birthday party, and she's in recovery and healthy, and the theme of her party was reptiles and rainbows. So I thought there is no better human being on Earth than Sayla to unveil some new reptile enclosures. They are tortoise specific and built to last one of the thing with many species of tortoises uh, that you can't just put up like a dog pen or a fence they dig so you know we had to sink seawall material a couple feet down into the ground to make sure nobody's gonna dig up and out their houses for the night to keep them safe in the nighttime or reinforced concrete you know rebar steel doors the whole gambit so we can make sure that they're safe and they also have a great a great home that they can they can call their second home we're having the families from Children's Cancer Center come in for free so the kids can have a great day. But we want to encourage the public, if you're not doing anything today, come on out because um, it's a great, a great thing to do. 100% of donations given at the front today will go to Children's Cancer Center, and 50% of our proceeds as a business will go straight to the Children's Cancer Center as well. At 12.30 today, we're going to have Sayla do the ribbon cutting as well. Sayla with that big snake. She is brave. Okay, the ribbon cutting for these new exhibits is today at 12.30 p.m. And everybody is welcome to join in on the, on the festivities. You'll find more information about the aquarium and animal sanctuary on our website at fox13news.com.